story is Polly Pomegranate. Polly Pomegranate loved to dance. She never walked anywhere. She always twirled, twisted, skipped, leapt or waltzed along. And nobody took any notice of her because they were all so used to her prancing. Now our story starts when the fruit and vegetable people became very worried about the state of the greenhouse. Panes of glass were broken and the door was hanging off its hinges. Something has to be done, they said, and quickly before the winter comes. Tim Tomato was certainly not his usual jolly self, and Colin Cucumber was downright miserable, for they both knew that the repairs would be costly. How ever can we make enough money? they wondered miserably. Just then, Polly Pomegranate came dancing by in her usual graceful manner. Hello, she said sweetly. Is anything wrong? The greenhouse is falling to bits, said Peter Potato gruffly. It will cost lots of money to mend it. Oh dear, said Polly. Is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> It was then that Colin Cucumber had his brilliant brainwave. How about holding a concert on the lawn and letting Polly dance for everyone? We could charge people to come and see her. We'd make a lot of money that way, he said. Everyone thought it was a splendid idea and quickly started to help with the arrangements. Some made posters. Some found boxes for seats. <coughs> Sally Spider busied herself by making Polly a beautiful silken ballet dress. <coughs> the Caterpillar Twins made her a soft furry cape from their old cast off skins. And Felicity Foxglove provided her with a pair of pink ballet shoes. <coughs> When the great day came, the garden was full of excited people, all waiting to see lovely Polly Pomegranate. Her friends were so proud of her, because she danced as she had never danced before. How they all cheered and clapped. When the visitors had all gone home, and Peter Potato was counting up the money they had collected, he found that they had enough to repair the greenhouse, and some over. Do you know what they did with the spare money? They sent Polly to ballet school. And you can guess what she became, can't you? Yes, she became what she had always wanted to be. A famous ballerina.